Okay, welcome back to my presentation. This is the second uh, part of the video, the series How Immune Complex is Formed and Three Other Mechanisms that Destroy Your Kidney Functions in IgA Nephropathy. So this is the second mechanism. And the first part of the video, I discuss the autoimmune part, how the immune complex was formed. This one is the non-autoimmune. A lot of people know about uh, IgA nephropathy having an abnormal production of immunoglobulin and those are the autoimmune part. These three mechanisms are explaining how these three mechanisms will contribute to the destructions of your kidney. Okay, so let's begin. So the same thing, the same initial event happened. Like I said before, all the normal and abnormal physiological events that happens in the body are initiated by calcium ions. An increase in cytosolic intracellular calcium ions inside the cell. Now, in this case, we are referring about the kidney cells, the specialized kidney cells called podocytes. So let us begin. The first reaction is an increase in cytosolic calcium inside the cell. Now, this increase now, these increase are caused by uh, by external factors like um, in the case of the subject of my experiment, it is the on overdose of calcium channel blocker amlodipin. It is also caused by an increased sugar because an increased sugar will increase the permeability of calcium ions inside the cell. Mag monosodium glutamate can also, uh, it is a monosodium glutamate a neurotransmitter can also increase the permeability of cytosolic calcium inside the cell, prolong ultraviolet uh, toxins, alcohol, uh, other insults, other inflammatory, inflammatory substances, like for example, uh, a diet containing choline, uh, like for example, a diet containing choline, betaine, or L-carnitine. These three substances, when you eat this one, will reinteract with your microbiome and will produce a TMAO or trimethylam trimethylamine in oxide, which is inflammatory and can cause cardiovascular disease, according to studies. So, so with all of these insults coming from the external stimulus, increase cytosolic calcium. So, once the calcium is increased inside the cell, once it becomes saturated, these calcium ions will dance and cuddle the calcium calmodulin protein dependent kinase 4. There are other calmodulin also, but in this case, we're discussing the CAMK4, the calcium calmodulin dependent protein kinase 4. Once the calcium will dance and cuddle this, this calcium calmodulin dependent protein kinase 4, it will phosphorylate a scaffold protein called 1433 beta. This is now once it is phosphorylated, it causes the release of synaptopodin. Synaptopodin will be then degraded, and the resulting action is a loss of adhesion of podocyte. Why synaptopodin is important? Because this synaptopodin is like a glue. It will act, it's like a glue, it will act on the integrin part of the podocytes so that these podocytes can set or firmly attach to the glomerular basement membrane. So without the synaptobidin, because it was degraded by the activation of 1433 beta, there, there will be there is a chance that the food processes and the adhesion will be loose, so causing slugging off or effacement of podocytes. So this is the same explanation with focal segmented glomerulonephritis, where your podocytes will be slugged off, causing loss of kidney functions. Okay, so we have a loss of kidney functions, you know, due to that activation or phosphorylations of scaffold protein 14 3 beta resulting a loss of kidney function that is the first non-autoimmune the adhesion part you know is lost because of the degradation of synaptopodin 
Now, the second other mechanism, which is also non-immune, is the same thing coming from the interaction, coming from the interaction and cuddling of calcium can modulin protein dependent kinase 4, it will also phosphorylate other protein called cream alpha. Now, you don't have to worry about the name, you don't have to memorize, but this cream alpha will uh, cl close the interleukin to locus and at the same time and at the same time stimulate the productions of another inflammatory enzymes interleukins 17 and with this reaction also this can cause an over expression of a CD80 molecule and a CD86 molecule these are antigens that are found in the T lymphocytes you know the, the, the expressions of antigen in the T lymphocytes, CD80, mol CD80 and CD86 molecule. These two molecules are unknown to most of the immunologists, according to George Sokos in Bethesda Israel Medical Center uh, and his colleagues. These two molecules are found to be a marker, a stress molecule of podocytes. Okay, so this can cause a loss of motility of the podocyte. The motility is our defense. Whenever there is an immune complex produced by the glycoform or immune complex produced by the body, resulting action, loss of kidney functions. Our body will protect us by, by preventing this deposits, by preventing the depositions or, or settling of immune complex in our kidney. So if our podocytes are functioning normally, its motility are strong enough, then the settling and the deposition of this immune complex can never be deposited in the kidney. Because of the increased cuddling of CAMK4, we have now an overexpression of CD80 and CD86 molecule, which is a stress molecule for podocytes. So now let's go to the third. Now, the same source again, when calcium increase and saturated, this CAMK4 will also produce another, another substance called transformation growth factor beta-1. This growth beta-1 will upregulate your messenger RNA30 family. Once the messenger RNA family is upregulated, it can cause downregulation of nephrine genes, the NPHS1, and the urosin genes, NPHS2. When these two are down-regulated, again, here, this final filter, the green portion, are, this green portion will be destroyed, and the large molecule albumin can pass through this slit diaphragm, causing proteinuria. Okay? So, we have discussed the three mechanisms in the non-autoimmune part in the destruction of the kidney. That is, that is all for today. And I hope you, you get the point here. The point here, my main point here, you don't have to memorize all, all, a lot of these terms. All you need to know is the very root cause, the increase in cytosolic calcium so that we can prevent this. And we will address this how to reduce this by reducing there are three approach approaches here that i'm going to discuss in the next video so that we can prevent the progression of kidney disease and take out eliminate most of the symptoms of this disease by 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 eliminating or by reducing the the cuddling of these two lovers will eliminate the production of their baby interleukin 6. Uh, if you want to know how do we stop the progression of this IgE nephropathy, since IgE nephropathy has no cure, how do we stop this? So please click subscribe and click notification bell so you will be notified as soon as I release the, net, the third video explaining how we protect or how we stop or even slow down the progression of the disease. And I will also show you 
the evidence of one of my experiments, the evidence of the progress using those three approaches. The, the kidneys filtering process in the nephrine, in the podocytes are improving. So click subscribe and notification bell. Thank you.